All right, I'm doing a quick update video on my Ford 5.4 three valve. On my other channel, when I posted the video of the tick a little while ago, um, a lot of you guys had good answers, but one thing that stuck out was Jim Goslin had mentioned that he had the exact same sound, but the spark plugs were loose. And the only reason why I'm out at my truck today is because when I changed the spark plugs about a year and a half ago, I did have some experience with the spark plugs being loose. Now these engines are not supposed to have that issue, but I found two on this bank already. And you could tell right here in this spark plug boot how it was misfiring or blowing through where this one here was still good. Now, since the sound was coming from the driver's side, I am going to start her back up after I get these coil packs back in. And we're gonna see if that tick is still there. So I just went through, checked all the plugs. Well, this is the last one. There's that very back one to do, but I would have to remove the ECM to get access to that. And I'm gonna be lazy and not do it only because the sound is radiating from this side and there's two loose plugs. That and we got a severe thunderstorm coming our way so I don't want to be caught outside with my pants down and my dick out when this comes in. Here's my safety announcement. If you're working on a vehicle like I do, I like to leave the battery connected which isn't usually the safest thing because this thing has a remote start and of course, you know, there's possibility, rare possibility, it might start with my hands in there. Never put a fucking screwdriver, anything on the battery because if those terminals touch, you better pull it off quickly or run like fucking mad because that bitch is gonna heat up red hot and then it's most likely gonna catch on fire. Man, that rain cloud is about two kilometers away. Yeah, I'll just leave that there for you guys to see. All right, let's start her up, see if it's gonna be any quieter or not. I'm gonna need to take the truck out, warm it up, confirm that that ticking sound is gone, and if there's no ticking sound like it did before when it was hot, then the problem is solved. I'm pretty sure I got the issue taken care of now because even at cold, it would still tick, but I don't hear nothing. So, as soon as the storm clears, we're gonna fucking head her out. Can't really tell because of the rain, but let's go outside and have a look. Holy shit, it's fucking quiet now. Man, that just saved me a shit ton of fucking money. So I'm beside a building where before it'd be noticeable and it was hot. I am so impressed. All right, I'm gonna leave the video at that. That's why I always say troubleshoot to find out what the issue is instead of throwing parts at the problem because I already priced out the parts because I was leaning towards like the whole phaser, chains, everything else. And a complete timing set from Ford would have been 1700 bucks Canadian, where aftermarket going with Dorman parts would have been less than half that, but I heard Dorman cam phasers are shit. So always, if you have this problem, Jim Goslin, man, he had a good uh, theory, and I tested his theory, and it absolutely worked. Two loose plugs. These engines are not supposed to have that issue with loose plugs. Apparently they must because, like I said before, and I wouldn't be surprised if those threads in that one plug that was really loose are damaged because with the compression and the air blowing by all the threads, it probably widened the threads a little bit and damaged it. I'm going to have to keep my eye on it, see if it loosens up. Uh, but anyways, I'm pretty happy with that. Saved myself some money. Uh, the fix didn't cost anything besides a few hours of my time. So I'm going to get going. No motherfucking beer time because I'm in the truck. So if you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, I want to thank you guys for watching.